Hey Crossroads, my name is Michelle Coe and I am our Thrive Family Coordinator at our Westminster campus. And I am so excited to be able to share with you today a little bit more about the series that we started this past Sunday, The Way Back. And uh, we were just reminded that no matter how far gone we think we are, that we can always find our way back home. And Reed shared uh, the story of the prodigal son, which I love, and I just think it's a perfect picture um, that no matter what, we always have a place, a home with God. And uh, when we hear that word home, I always think that we may think different things and different people may think different things about that word home. Some people may think of the place that they live or a place that they love to go or even maybe it's just where your family is, where the people that you love are. And um, I just want us today to look at how Jesus describes his home. And uh, we will be picking up today in John 14. And so in the previous verses in chapter 13, Jesus is setting this up. He's This is right after the last su supper and he's talking with his disciples and he's sharing with them that, hey, I'm not gonna be with you for much longer. Uh, I'm going home to the Father and eventually you will follow me, but just not right now. And so we're gonna, going to pick up in John 14, starting in verse one, and here's what he says. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe in me also. My father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, what I have told you, I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Um, I am sure that the disciples in this moment, as Jesus is sharing that he is going home to his father, we're probably a little confused. If I was in that room, I would be so confused and wondering how the heck am I even going to know the way back home that you're talking about? And But Jesus encourages them, and I love this, that says, do not be troubled, that he knows that this is not our home and that our true home is not here, is not of this world. And... Um, that home, that sense of security and peace is only found in who Jesus is. And he instructs us to believe in him, to trust him. Um, and Jesus makes a promise to the disciples here. And I think it's the same promise that he makes for you and me, that uh, he is going ahead of us and he is going to prepare a place for us in his father's house. And I just found it so interesting that he said this. He made this profound statement before the disciples even went out and did anything. They did nothing to earn this place with God. It was just that they were in relationship with Jesus. And so often I think that we feel like we have to have it all together before we can come home to God. But what we see here is something completely different. And it's something that on Sunday we heard in the story of the prodigal son, the same theme that, that the son walked away and came back home and the father was filled with love and was waiting for him. And when he returned, he celebrated him. It was a celebration and he welcomed him home, dressing him in the finest robes. And I love that picture because I think that God celebrates us in the same way. When we choose to come back home to who Jesus is and enter in that relationship with him, uh, we don't have to do anything because Jesus already did everything for us on the cross and all we have to do is say hey lord this is my dirty robe take it and take my sin take that feeling of not feeling enough not feeling worthy enough to be in the presence of god 
And what we get in return is God wraps us in his robe and gives us the treasures of his home. And that is the place that I think Jesus is talking about here. And that's the place that we find in the person of Jesus when we choose to take that step. Um, and I just hope that today, as we go on our day, we can remember that and think about what it looks like to find that home, find that peace and that security and who Jesus is, not because we are enough, but because he is enough. And so I just would love to pray over us, over our day as we go on. And so Lord, I just thank you for this time that we get to spend just learning a little bit more about you and that um, we can come to you, that you celebrate us, that you welcome us home in all situations. And I just thank you for um, sending us Jesus to um, just teach us how to live. And I just pray that we walk in that today. And so I pray all this in your name. Amen. So thanks for joining us. Uh, we will see you uh, soon and have a great day.